Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. Hey Pit Monsters, what's up? Today I got something special for you guys because I saw something on the World Wide Web and it's gonna blow your mind. I was watching a video from Eater, the other YouTube channel that makes awesome content, but they were at a Michelin star restaurant. And these two chefs, they were making amazing food. And one of these things involved short ribs. Now, personally, I'm a big fan of short ribs, but what they did with these short ribs was just mind blowing. I've never seen something like it before. So I want to replicate that. I want to be able to do it. I saw it. I wanna do it, and I wanna do it right now, and we're going to do it with this. These are extremely beautiful Black Angus short ribs. I'm gonna take them out of the package, pat them dry with a paper towel, and look at that intramuscular fat. This is beautiful. I love this stuff. It's packed with flavor, and it has a lot of intramuscular fat, which means it's gonna be very, very juicy. Now I'm going to trim it up, take off the fat, because I'm looking for that clean red meat. I'm going to take everything off that I need to take off. We're going down back to the core. So that means bones off, it means fat off, it means silver skin off, everything off. I trimmed off all the bones, I trimmed off all of the silver skin and I've got some of these scrap pieces here. That's, I trimmed that off. This is, this is just too much of nothingness i'm looking for whole steaks so i'm gonna save this because in my grinder i can make excellent burgers out of this and together with a little bit of the dry aged trimmings that's going to be an amazing burger but what i'm concentrating on right now is this piece right here now from this side it looks pretty awesome but i got a little spot here with fat that needs to go off but on the other side you can see i already trimmed some off here and I'm still left with this vein and with this vein of fat. Now, that needs to go. I gotta end up with a clean, clean steak, otherwise this is not gonna work. But if we take a look at like this piece right here, if we can have this, what I'm looking at right here and this piece right here, this could be it. This could be the steak that we're looking for. I'm just gonna keep working on it and I'm, it might end up looking really weird, but this is the first time that I'm doing it. So I gotta discover this meat. What's in here? Can we get a steak out of this? Or maybe even two. I'm gonna go in with my knife and I'm just gonna carefully cut my way until I hit that red meat. And right there, when I take this fat out, you can see that we end up with clear red meats. If we leave this in, because that's what you normally want to say, oh man, just leave it in, it's fine, I would eat that. But the problem is, the way I want to cut my steak in the end, if I leave that in, it's going to fall apart on me. So I can't have a steak fall apart on me, especially not this one. So it's got to go, I got to persevere, I got to take it out. Even though it's good stuff, we just saved for the burgers. That's it. This is what I needed to take out. This is no good either. Just got to go. This is it. This is what we're left with. Kind of like a super ugly piece of meat. And we need to figure out how to turn this into a steak. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this piece. It's a gamble. I got another one in the fridge. If this doesn't work out, we're going to do another one and we're going to make it work. But for now, I'm just going to give it a go. It hurts. Yes. It hurts, but it works. All right, look at it. Beautiful steak, that's what we ended up with. <laughs> this is awesome. I need to clean this up a little bit, but then we end up with something amazing. We end up with a beautiful steak. Look at the amount of intramuscular fat that we have. So this is really, really good looking steak. Of course, this is gonna be super tough meat, but we're going to cut it so it's not as tough anymore, but this is like amazing. This is like Wagyu grade intermuscular fat. Now we gotta go cut this in half. I'm gonna flatten this out a little bit with my hand. And then I'm gonna take my knife and cut all the way through this. Otherwise it's gonna be too thick. All the way through the center. Gotta make sure, don't cut your hands. Careful now. There we go. Now let's take a look on the inside. Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's insane. This makes me smile. And like chefs have been 
Dissecting this piece just to make sure they discover this. This is like discovering gold. I'm super happy with that result and I'm, I'm really happy that we got two out of them. So we can have two attempts of making this work. Now I'm not the guy that does the most exact things. Like I'm not the precision engineer here. I'm just the engineer that says, well, this might work. So um, I gotta work with what I got. So I'm gonna try and make this work. But the idea is that we're going to make cuts in this, not cutting it all the way through, but diagonal cuts almost all the way through and then it's going to turn into something else amazing even more amazing than this can you imagine i'm like this is about as exciting as you're going to see me should i do it with side wheels or should like this is side wheels yeah, or no, no side you wheels have, you have a safety car all right no side wheels oh man if i screw this up i'm gonna be so sorry i, I gotta get my carving knife all right i got my carving knife out and we're gonna do this Yes, we're gonna do this. I am going to do this. All right. Now I'm gonna flip this around and I'm going to cut the other way in the opposite direction. Because now it looks like this. You see that? We've got all of those beautiful incisions and now I want the cross cut to it. This is the moment. Now I'm gonna pick it up and we're going to take a look at this. All right, it's not, it's not what I was looking for. Let's put it that way. We made it work. Like if you look at this, you can see through it. It has that see-through cut. I just need to stretch it up a little bit, but I'm, I'm really scared to stretch this up. This is my first attempt and I don't think that's too bad. You see the holes? <laughs> I'm super happy, super pumped. Like, this is what I wanted to do. And I did it on the first try. I can't believe I made it happen. So, Michelin star restaurant, coming up. Now, with a little bit more confidence, I'm going to cut this other part as well. And then, we're going to make a marinade. Ooh, way better. I cut a little deeper and it is more, <laughs> it's more delicate now, like more exposed cut. And definitely, definitely you need like a really, really tough cut of meat for this. Otherwise you're just gonna pull this apart. So this is really, really impressive. Now all we need to do is make it really Korean and put it in a marinade. For the marinade, I'm gonna use my blender and I'm gonna put in one whole apple followed by one whole onion. <laughs> wow, I'm making a big mess here. Don't do it like I did. Chop it up a little finer than this before putting it in your blender. Then I'm adding 100 milliliters of soy sauce, six cloves of garlic, one thumb-sized ginger, the juice of one lime, two tablespoons of corn syrup, or you could use table syrup like we have in the Netherlands, three tablespoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of salt, and some fresh ground black pepper. And of that, you can add as much as you like. Now blend it all fine until you have one smooth paste. Put your steaks into a tray, add the marinade, and set it in the fridge for around an hour. I got the Kettle Joe fired up and ready to go. We got insane heat and that's exactly what we're going to need for our steak. It's been over an hour now and let's take a look at our steak. And honestly, this looks horrible. <laughs> Most of the time that means something good because if something looks really bad, then the results are probably gonna be tasty because if you could smell this, it will blow your mind. That's how good this smells. Just wanna pat this dry a little bit and it's okay if there's still a little bit of marinade on. That's gonna come off when the fat's rendering down, it's dripping into the fire. That's perfectly fine. So we got one ready, let them dry a little bit. Now that they're dry, they're ready to hit the grill. Now 
This steak is more than just a pretty face. I just discovered that it also has a function. If you make this weave and you have so much fat in your steak, you're able to render down much more fat than you otherwise would be able to. Dude, I just go I'm just gonna eat it. I'm sorry, I, I just gotta go. All right. Well, oh, th that's the downside. Like if you slice into it, you only get tiny pieces. But that's a minus. Mm. Okay, okay. I totally get it. Thank you, Eater. Thank you guys from the Korean restaurant. I don't know your names, but I love you. Thank you for giving us this steak. Great flavors, great marinade. It's terrific. It's, it has that, that Korean style, Asian style, fusion cooking flavor. This is something that when you eat one piece, you immediately think about having an endless supply of it. This is so cool. This is so awesome. And the only downside is that if you slice into it, you only get tiny pieces, but that's the only thing. <laughs> All of the rest is just madness. This is exclusive, right, in the restaurant? Yeah, yeah you don't get, only get it in two Michelin star Korean style restaurants in the US. Yeah. You don't get this in Europe. So the only way to get this is probably to make it. No. And that's the most fun. Why would you go to a restaurant to make this for you, mm -hmm. where you can make it at home? I think you should tell them that if you screw that whole cutting into it, if you screw that up, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't taste any different. And right? Exactly. And you learn something in the process. Uh, as long as you put the marinade on, you grill it. That's right. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like the recipe. And if you do, then check out our website, pitmasterx.com. We've written everything down for you so you can make it yourself. So go over there right now. Don't watch even the end of the video. It doesn't matter. But if you're still here for the end of the video, I wanna thank the patrons and the YouTube members and I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smartly and keep on grilling.